Is this working? What? We're live. Ooh, this is exciting. Gotta adjust my seat here. Stream settings. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What is up? How are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. What's going on, Chosen One? Hi, Brianna. How are you? It's good to see you all. It's a Tuesday afternoon, and I am live on YouTube. This has never happened before. Sweet jacket. Thanks. This is a sweatshirt that I got for Christmas. Um, apparently, it was ordered on Amazon. It is a little bit too small for me, but that's okay. What's up, CP Cool? How are you? Hey, Saul. What's up, Chef Dave? How are you guys doing? Love the vids. Oh, thank you so much. Tyler, what's going on, man? How are you doing? I have a box today. Hey, awesome. I can't wait to open it. So close to 30K. Yes, we are very close to 30K. We should hit it today. Woo. Hopefully, uh, we can hit it during the stream. That would be amazing. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, we are opening up an entire case of shiny star v this is unopened this is how it comes so this is how it comes to stores in japan it comes in a case like this there's 20 boxes in here we're going to open up all 20 of them even though we only sold 19 of them i'm submitting my first psa right now awesome dude that's awesome fantastic uh hey danny love your videos any more shiny star v boxes available uh so they're all out sold out right here however um, just a quick update on the website. You may have noticed that you can still access the website, but nothing is allowed right now to be checked out. If you look behind me, I am in the process of reorganizing everything. We have a lot of inventory coming this week. We do have some Shiny Star V that will go on the website, so pay attention. Uh, we're doing inventory right now, so within the next week, right after the first of the year, um, we'll be uh, opening that up. This is really just kind of a test stream. I wanted to see if I could do this. Uh, full-time because right now I work a full-time job. I'm just on, on vacation this week, but I kind of wanted to test if this is something that you guys would be interested in um, that I could do maybe a few times a week. That is kind of the ultimate goal for 2021, but I'll make a video on that in the future, uh, hopefully Thursday when I announce the winners of um, the contest that we just had. We just had a YouTube contest recently um, where I'm going to give away $2,500 worth of stuff. So 25 different items. Some of them will be Shiny Star Vs. Some of them will be Hidden Fates ETBs. Uh, we'll give away some Champions Path ETBs. It'll be really, really fun. Super excited to be in this. Never showed interest in Japanese. I have never opened up a Japanese pack before Shiny Star V. Uh, so we're going to get right into this. We're going to open it up, guys. This is going to be a lot more like chill than what my vintage openings are. Do you ship to Germany? Yeah, absolutely. Um, usually with my uh, vintage openings, I like to research and I try and dress up a little bit and, and keep things as formal as I possibly can. We are opening up two booster boxes of Team Rocket uh, this upcoming Sunday at 8.30 p.m. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, is the giveaway still open? So it closed on Christmas Day. Uh, any any entry after Christmas Day is not uh, not eligible anymore. However, we will have a very, very big opening for or giveaway for Shiny Fates as long as we... Look at that. Uh, as long as we hit our goal of 50,000 subscribers. So that'll be a lot of fun. Any slots left for this box break? No, unfortunately not. Like I said, we'll do box breaks in the future. We'll do quite a bit more of them um, if the demand is there. I just want to see how this goes first, um, just to kind of get an idea. But we're going to start out right away and just start opening it. And quality of your videos have improved extraordinarily. Oh, thank you so much. I actually do work very, very hard to try and make these better. And I am not a techie person at all. So I'm trying to... To trying to learn as much as I possibly can as I go. It's it's a struggle. Uh, so we're going to start off. This is for Amanda. So Amanda uh, traded in bulk. And if you guys don't know, we do accept bulk. You can go onto our website, pkmncoliseum.com. Uh, we're going to start a little program called Bulk for Breaks. Let me know if you guys like the idea of that, but we're going to figure out a way to give you store credit that is uh, redeemable for breaks. So Amanda is the first person, Amanda E., who redeemed bulk credit for this break. Uh, so pretty excited. Hopefully we pull a God Pack or something really, really cool for um, That's what I really want to see. The problem with these Japanese packs uh, is that they're very, very difficult to open. Does the bulk need to be sleeved? No, please actually do not sleeve the bulk. It all has to be in near mint condition. Uh, near mint or better. We do not accept 
uh, basic, I, mean, I think we do accept basic energy just at a very low rate. Um, I think it's like a penny per, per energy card, but English only and no world championship cards. Oh, I see checkout is disabled on your website. Yeah, right now it's disabled so we can go through inventory. Uh, we're opening up the first one. This is a booster box from Japan. So we're going to get right into this for Amanda. Amanda, good luck. Hopefully we pull something amazing. Are you from Instagram? Are you from Wisconsin? Yes. Yes, I am from Wisconsin. You can use scissors to open the pack. Super easy. Yeah, I do have a pair of scissors here as well. Um, just to make things a little bit easier because it is kind of a, uh, a pain to get these open. A lot different than what you would see. And I am going to shake a little bit at the beginning because I get nervous. Stage fright, you know, this is, this is, I'm nervous. Um, bulk break, bulk for break is an amazing idea. Yeah, I thought so too. I don't know anybody else who does it. We try and keep things a little bit different uh, just because, yeah, why wouldn't you want to keep things different? Hey, Tino, Timo, thanks for the super chat. I'm sorry, my manner is kind of far away. Hey, Daniel's going to never donated before. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so this is the, the code card that comes right away. I did turn my autofocus off. We're going to go through these. And I don't, um, so that's a dowel blade. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to struggle a little bit with some of these Pokemon card names. <laughs> um, ooh, look at that. Oh, we got an amazing rare Kyogre right out of the gates. Very cool. Nice, right away. So that's going to get sleeved. So the good thing is is that everybody gets 10 packs at least. Amanda actually got 20 packs. Is your store online only? Yes, right now it is. Uh, we'll talk about storefronts on the channel in the future. Uh, it's very difficult for storefronts to survive right now. You have to have something super unique and special. So that's the difficult part, especially right now with everything that's going on. Finding a way to get um, people through the doors is what's difficult. Hopefully people can scan those cards. Can't scan. I don't know if you can or not. I don't know exactly how it works with Japanese code cards, but everybody who purchased is from uh, the U.S., Look at that, more, more Petco. Hey, there's a Quick Ball, Haunter, Metal Saucer. Ooh, a Boss's Orders. Very cool. A Zacian V. And what is that, a Nicant? Right at the end there? They have a different hollow foil pattern as the, the end card here. I don't know if you can see it, but see how it bubbles? Yeah, there's that's a good good glare of it, which is pretty cool. Yes, he said, do not sleeve bulk. Yeah, don't sleeve bulk, because we, we have to unsleeve it all right away unfortunately and that takes a ton of time if it's all sleeved i know a lot of people want their cards to be super sleeved and mint but in order to turn the bulk uh, as fast as we possibly can and check conditions and everything it's better if it's just unsleeved and then just properly packaged so properly packaged meaning like saran wrapped in piles of 100 or even if you fold a sandwich bag over tight doing that in piles of 100 isn't hey we've got a shiny rotom nice very cool do they get to keep all of these cards yes every single one of them oh and a ditto v max very cool amanda's starting out strong i don't remember the name of this full art trainer somebody help me out i'm not well versed in this at all hey is there a giveaway open there is not currently a giveaway open there is a giveaway that just ended on christmas day can you not show the code card just in case? Yeah. I don't know if it works on um, PTCGO. Careless. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Careless. Thanks, guys. I knew I could count on you. All right, so we're going to flip the code cards over right away. So that way, I don't know if it's redeemable or not. Has anybody ever tried? Thank you so much. All right, so we're just going to go like that. And then we'll flip it over. Is that better? Does that work? links Ooh, a scoop up man. Pierce. Crobat V. Hey, Crobat V is exciting. So, I'm not well versed in this. The code cards for the Pokemon Sword and Shield video game. Oh, okay. I'm not well versed in this. Do, um, on the Nintendo Switch. Got it. Not on PTCGO. They work. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'll keep that in mind. So, definitely do not show the code cards. See, I knew I could count on you guys for being amazing and helping me on my journey here. I think it's for the Japanese game, isn't it? I don't know. Somebody hopefully can answer that. That is a very good question. Hey, Scotty boys in the house. That's right. Go pack, go. All right. 
shiny zig is that a zigazoon zigzagoon and a ditto v very nice yo we need that god pack yeah i would really like a god pack so from what i've seen a god pack starts with a shiny is that right I think that's how it goes. Wait, are the all these have yeah, every single uh, Japanese pack has a V card in it, which is pretty cool. And the conditions on uh, Japanese cards are typically a lot better than what you see out of English cards. Hey, what's going on, Poker Sisters? How are you doing? It's all shinies, yes. So I think it starts with a shiny because typically there's not like here's your Galarian Ponyta. It would be a shiny right away, and that's where you know it's a god pack because there's a shiny right away. I just want to pull a Charizard V right away. Oh, we got another shiny. To is that a Toxicroak V? Or Tox... Uh, ugh, I can't remember this one. Toxtricity? God pack is all shiny, but two to three Vs are Max. Yeah, I've seen some people who have ordered shiny V boxes from us that pulled uh, their Charizard VMAX had the... Uh, um, the shiny Charizard in it. Anyone else shop on Real Flux Gods, any Phantom, and Cardinal Gaming at the same time? Uh, I know I did. I hopped on those other guys right away. I mean, I was already Toxtricity. Yeah, thanks. Such better quality control. Yeah, big time. I heard the rate is 1 in 600, 700 for a God Pack. Oh, okay. Well, we're only opening 200. So we got to go above and beyond here. Do you think sitting on sealed Chinese Star V is a good investment? I do, yeah. If you look at some of the older Japanese um, cards, I mean, this is going to be a very popular set no matter what. Oranguru in DDV. Uh, this is going to be a very popular set no matter what in Japan and in the U.S. Silver Border does look super clean. So I do think it's a good investment. Even some of the older Japanese sets... Just booster boxes of them continue to rise in price. I mean, just look at Shiny Star V right now, how much they cost. These are, what, $70, $65 over in Japan when you buy them when they first come out. And then just like that, it was pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure that a God Pack will only come in a box without another FA Shiny card. Ooh, I guess we will see. We know that this is not a God Pack. I just want to pull that first Charizard, Charizard V Shiny or something special. That would be awesome. I like the art on that Grim Snarl. Want to get a big hitter right away. We've gotten a few shinies so far, but we want to get something really special. Carol, this is pretty cool. This guy from Cardinal Gaming, Papa Blastoise. <laughs> no, he is not, but he's a super nice guy, uh, and he definitely knows what he's talking about. Uh, both of them, in that matter. Uh, Cardinal Gaming and Papa Blastoise. But yeah, I've definitely watched some of Cardinal Gaming stuff. He's he's very smart, and I'm all about um, supporting your your LGS. So having all of his information come from an LGS standpoint is very cool, and something that's much needed. Dragapult V. That Bolton looks really cool. Oh, look at the Sabol. All right, who's Team Sabol when it comes to when you started out? Anybody? Anybody Team Sable? That was who I chose first. I was very, very excited to do Sable, and then I was kind of let down when it came to Inteleon at the end. Do you have a Discord? Yes, I do. We do have a Discord. I can post, um, I'll edit the description when this is done and post it in. I haven't posted it for a little while. How many packs are we in? Uh, we just opened the first box, so we're only, what, this is pack number 10? Score Bunny, okay. Team Sable. Team Sable. Sable's so cool. Grokey Gang, Sable Squad. Ooh, look at that. A double shiny. That's super cute. And a Suicune and a Lapras. Ooh. That's not a bad way to end it. That's a really cool looking card. The artwork on that. This is cute. I can't wait for Shining Fates to come out in, uh, in English on February 19th. It's going to be a lot of fun. GameStop is taking pre-orders for Shiny Star V, Tins, and Pikachu Box. Oh, for Shining Face. I know that you can go into or you can go into your local GameStop store and pre-order in person. I don't think they're doing it online. Is that right? I thought Sabo was going to be Water Ghost. That would have been so sick. But no, nah, I was <laughs> underwhelmed. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> I was a little bit underwhelmed with the starters too. I thought Sabo was so cute. I bought a Sabo jersey. I got all excited. 
And then when I started playing the Sobble and he started evolving, I was like, oh. Okay. I mean, that's cool. I'm going to go ham on Shining Fates. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to open because it's tough. I want to open up my Master Set, but I don't want to get too greedy and not be able to sell sealed product. That's kind of the tough part. So I'll open some, but got to keep it a little bit, a little bit lax on what we normally do. Most GameStops are cleared for pre-orders near you. Oh, that's too bad. You might have to drive a little bit, unfortunately. Game. It's smart that they're doing in-person pre-orders this time around. Oranguru, Professor's Research, Lapras V. <clears throat> I really like the fact that you get an Ultra Rare with every single pack. That is, that is very cool. Because then it makes you feel like it's all worth it. This is definitely bragging, but I've... Had an absurd shiny star V luck. Two god packs and two booster boxes. That is that is not bragging at all, and that is insanely cool. I have uh, opened up I think five shiny star V boxes, and I have not pulled a single god pack. But once I pulled the two Charizards, I stopped. So I did get really lucky with the Charizards. I pulled the the V Max and the V within my first five boxes, and then would it be possible to get my favorite card autographed? Yeah, of course. I can definitely do that. If you want to just message me, maybe I have your favorite card already, and then I can just sign it and send it over to you, as long as it's not like, my favorite card is a shining Charizard from Neo Destiny, because I'm probably not going to autograph that and send it away. Uh, I am from the retailer based in the UK. We have been told we are getting Shining Fates in waves. Is that the same for the US? Yeah, so it looks like there's going to be at least three waves. And the problem is, is that retailers are getting allocated... Uh, for based on the entirety of the wave only criticism is the quality of the video yeah i know i don't know why it keeps defaulting to 720 i've had it i have it set up for 1080 and i just keep ugh, it's getting frustrating hey look at that oh nice cramorant v help me out with that trainer's name amateur hour over here look at how cool that is I can't remember the name of this one though. I know it's one of the trainers from the actual game. Yo, my favorite card is Light Vaporeon. Light Vaporeon is super cool. I love the Neo Destiny set in general. All of the Dark Light, all of that stuff. Dark Tyranitar. Light Arcanine is no joke, probably my favorite card of all time. I just love how it all just goes together. 300 watching and not and only 69 likes. Yeah, let's get to 30,000. Are there really 300 people watching? Holy cow! You guys are you guys spoil me. Thank you so much, Poke Kid Trainer. Thank you. Well, I'm such an amateur when it comes to some of these cards. Oh, we got something. Oh, we got another amazing rare Kyogre. Very cool. Oh, we almost skipped the shiny Colossal. Wow, what a what a pack! Look at that. Toxtricity V Max. Amazing Rare Kyogre and Shiny Colossal all in the same pack. The uh, Amazing Rares continuing is super, super cool. Already liked. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Are there still slots for the Team Rocket Box Breaks? Yes, there are. And in fact, <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pause for a second here. I'm good, Hanka. How are you? So I'm just going to pause for a second here. So we opened up a second box. And then I got a message from somebody on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me, Danny.Phantom. And he said, hey, I want to help you out with um, your Team Rocket box break. I have another box. This is how much I can sell it for. Let me know if you want it, and I'll overnight it to you. So if we do sell out of the second box, there is the potential for a third box, which I don't think has ever been done on YouTube before. So that would be absolutely crazy if we opened up three Team Rocket booster boxes in one sitting. Just so everybody can get... I know Team Rocket is a huge, huge fan favorite for a lot of people. Going for... I mean, it's got Blastoise. It's got Charizard. It's got uh, the Dark Raichu Secret Rare. That would be amazing. How do I get in on this box break? This one's already sold out. Um, but if you go to the website, pkmncoliseum.com, right now there's nothing up because we're doing inventory. But this is, uh, this is something that we are kind of testing the waters at doing. There is a section on there that's labeled Box Breaks that we will start filling up and do more box breaks. Whew, gonna pin down the mark. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, we will start doing more box breaks if it's something that you guys like and want to see more of. Oh, oh, Eldegoss V. Look at that Hoopa. That's very cool. 
plus silver cards and a Trubbish. When is the Rocket Live? It is uh, this coming Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm really trying to take advantage of, I'm on like a vacation from work for a week, so I'm trying to take advantage and we're going live three times. Hopefully I can find enough to talk about and that you guys don't get sick of hearing my voice. I love box breaks. I do too. They're a lot of fun. It's fun just to kind of see these polls and see what everybody else is getting. I know people post polls, but this you get to actually see in live fashion. Some people are like, oh, yeah, I pulled. Oh, look at that. Is that a Cincino? That's, uh, yeah, Cincino. It's so cute looking. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, I pulled 15 ultra rares in this box. But you just see a picture of it, so. It's Rapid Dad from Breaks on Breaks. Need me one of those boxes. Oh, hey, how are you doing, man? How's it going? Live on Sunday for purchase. It's live right now for purchase. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but you just technically have to go to cardhouse.com and you can search for uh, Danny Phantom Team Rocket Box Break, something like that. I think that's what it's called. Is it normal to get two amazing rares? One shiny VMAX and the baby shinies? Um, actually, it, it is. I don't want to say it's normal, but the, the pull rates on these have been pretty good, which has me hopeful for Shining Fates, considering the fact that... Oh, Look at that, a shiny coughing and another sweet can. Oh my goodness, two shinings, one pack. It's as close to a god pack as we've gotten so far. Come back here, sweet coon. Look at that, look at that Crobat VMAX. Oh, nice pulls. That's so cool. Danny in Walmart right now while watching your stream, and there is Crimson Invasion ETBs and Vivid Voltage single blisters. Wow, nice. Very cool. I know that a lot of Walmarts have. Uh, dismantled their card selection altogether and put it behind the counter like the customer service counter so make sure you check out that area that's what I've been told is that's what a lot of Walmarts have done as well as targets just to kind of limit things shiny chrome at VBAX is super awesome and that's something that we will not be getting uh, in the US set release because it's coming in the box right What's your opinion on the chats on the Vivid Voltage set? Vivid Voltage is amazing. I think it's going to have a lot of long legs for a very long time. Especially with the print run being what it is. Eternatus VMAX. We should have this massive, massive reprint coming very soon uh, in January. I know that they reprinted a very, very small amount for late December release. But the very big re uh, reprint is coming in January. And I've been told it's very, very large. So... There should be quite a bit more coming in. All right. Oh, it's always exciting because you know you pull something, but I don't know what it's gonna be. There's a Zacian and a double V. I have opened so many doubles in my life. That is a big sheep. All right, Amanda, this is your last pack. I have to figure out how to ship all these cards properly. Usually I'll use a team bag, but since we're doing more than, since it's 10 packs, it's going to be bigger than a team bag. We're going to have to bubble envelope on bubble envelope on bubble envelope. Last pack magic. Hey! What is that? A, is that a berserker? Shiny and a Dragapult VMAX. Amanda had some really good hits. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. You're one of my inspirations for starting a channel. Thank you, Retrograde. I appreciate that. Different level reverse hollows and hollow GX cards. What do you mean by that question? Are they different level from... Did you see Papa, Danny? I haven't seen Papa for a month, probably. I talk to Papa every day. This is just Amanda's pulse. Poke Kid, double. Very cool. But I haven't seen him. Oh, the only way I stay hidden. Oh, there's Papa. <laughs> hey, Papa, how are you doing? I hoped he would be in here. Papa, can you come over and help me pack all this stuff up now? We're supposed to get uh, four to seven inches of snow. All right, Jerry V is next. Four to seven inches of snow coming today. So if you leave now, you can get here right in the middle of the snow. He's in the chat is what I meant. I did not know he was in here. He always, he likes to lurk. He's a lurker by heart. 
Papa, can you hear me? If you come, sh if you can come shovel. You mean, so if I come shovel your snow, you will come here and shovel my snow? And then pack up orders? Go pack go. Yeah, go pack go. Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully you'll be MVP again. Number three. I got two Umbreons last night. Nice. Danny Phantom, I just want to thank you so much for what you were recently getting back. Oh, thank you. After 20 years collecting, battling with my son. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, and that was kind of the goal of the channel. I was afraid that... <laughs> So it's a very, very specific niche, so I was kind of nervous about that. Got to head to work. Oh, thanks so much, Rose City. Thanks for coming. All right, Jerry V. Let's get something special. Come on. Really want to get a God Pack just to say that I've done him. That's the goal. Frozmoth. Zamazenta. Would you recommend pre-ordering Hidden Fates ETBs? If you can find them... Okay, so the collector side of me, <laughs> this is where we go. The collector side of me says there is a price that I would be willing to pay for a Hidden Fates ETB just because of how special it is and how important it is in history. So the collector side of me says I would spend, oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> we got one, guys. We got our first God Pack, Jerry V. <sighs> Woo! This is amazing! I already feel like, ugh, second box, was this, third box in? This is amazing. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go! We got a god pack right here. All right, we've got a bundle B. Oh, uh, Pinkurchin, look at this! Oh, they're all shinies! I can't even pronounce this one, Doraldon, something like that. Oh my goodness, look at this! Let's go! Oh, there's a Cinder Ace. Oh, and DDV. Felix. And, oh, Ditto V Max. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Woohoo. We got our first God Pack. Nice. Way to go, Jerry V. Oh. Now I just want to pull another one. Let's pull all God Packs. From now on, stream only God Pack openings. Nothing else. Every pack, God pack. Whew, that is amazing. The rush that you feel, it's crazy, crazy cool. I'm glad you guys are all excited as I was too. I'm, I was worried that everybody was gonna be like, yeah, dude, I've opened a million God packs. So don't get so excited, Danny. But that was, that was worth, that was worth. Oh, fantastic. Oh. All shiny Vs. How sick would it be, though, if they brought a God Pack over to the U.S. for Shining Fates? There's so many secret rares in this set. I feel like they have to. I feel like they have to do a God Pack. Oh, amazing. Oh, will Shining Fates be a long print? Yes. I mean, it'll be coming out for a couple months, just in different waves. I don't know if it'll be... I think that the the thing about Shining Fates is that you're going to run into a situation where a ton of demand is going to continue throughout its entire release. There might be an opportunity that the 25th anniversary set, when that comes out next November, slows it down a little bit. And an Evital amazing rare. Look at that. Jerry is on fire. Jerry got a good box. Should I save up money for Shining Fates? Yeah, Shining Fates and the 25th anniversary set, I think, is... What we really want to focus on. But Battle Styles also looks amazing. I'm hoping that the August set, whatever it is, is just kind of lull. So that way <laughs> we're just overdoing it. It's it's crazy. You're going to sell Shining Fates, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, we will. Papa has all the specifics. Papa and I have not talked about Shining Fates really much at all yet. It's just so far off and we're trying to figure out ways to... The problem with owning a Pokemon business right now is just inventory in general is very tough to come by. So we are literally going all over the place trying to find inventory. Uh, we have some very fun stuff coming in tomorrow. Uh, we have some very stuff, fun stuff coming in. It might even be here now, very soon. But it's trying to find inventory just to stock up on the website because distributors are sold out. I mean, there's just nothing. Everything's dry. So we've been spending so much time focusing on that. And then Papa's been so busy with all the bulk because he's a madman. So it's just been tough to communicate when it comes to some of this other stuff hey we've got a galarian persecutor 
shiny and a lapis VMAX. Nice. Oh, would you recommend pre-ordering Hidden Fates ETBs? They sell for... Yeah, I would definitely do it. If they're 65... Is that 65 pounds? Yeah, I would definitely do it at that price. I think that Hidden Fates ETBs, if you can find them for under... Anywhere between 100 and 110 right now, 120 at the most, is a really good deal. But I've seen some places selling them for over $200, and that's just crazy to me. As a collector... Something as historic as Shining, as Hidden Fates, I would be like, oh yeah, I can do this at $100, $110. I would not. I would be right with you guys. I would not go much higher than that. So, other than that. Oh, wow, another amazing rare. Kyogre right there. And a Senna Scorch V. Where can you pre-order Hidden Fates ETBs? I, I don't know. Uh, I know Amazon had some recently for like 105 which is pretty good. Uh, the Japan Japanese codes, I guess, are for the Sword and Shield video game. But I don't know if anybody's used them or not, if it uh, converts properly into the U.S. release. How do I buy packs for the next box break? Uh, they're all going to be up on the website. So if you just go to pkmncoliseum.com, they will all be posted there. Cofable. Oh, we got a Crobat VMAX. Nice. My GameStop is selling Hidden Fates ETBs to scalpers. That's the tough part is when you, when you look at a storefront that's trying to keep things below market price even, and then they get all bought out just so that they can get resold. It's very tough. So I can't fault LGSs for raising their prices up because they also want to combat people coming in, buying the product, and then going out and reselling it at a much higher profit margin because, I mean, these LGSs are the ones taking all the risks. They're the ones who are filing taxes and doing everything properly and, you know, putting up all the risk and somebody comes in and just buys up all of the, the product and then sells them for much more expensive. Will you update your site with more inventory? Yeah, that's what we're kind of doing right now. So we're going in inventory for end of the year just to get all the books finalized for tax purposes. And then we will um, have the site updated, hopefully completely with all the pricing correct for singles. And then we'll hopefully be able to keep up with it a little bit better. Oh, ditto VMAX. I heard GameStop is losing their contract with Nintendo because of all the scalpers buying everything. I don't know if that would necessarily happen. It's very difficult for me to understand how Pokemon feels about the scalping issue. I know that they've talked about things briefly before about making sure that they try and provide as much product as they possibly can. But, I mean, ultimately, Pokemon is selling their product at a certain price point no matter what. hey -o. Crobat V. I don't even know what this one is. Some of these arts are so difficult for me. I need help in the chat on that one. Two dittos. Yeah, two dittos. Two ditto V maxes. Uh, and a Crobat V. They don't care. It's all money. Yeah, I mean, they, they it's difficult because they sell the cards at the same price to distributors and retailers no matter what. So, I mean, they're obviously going to want to put out a certain amount of product to make sure that they hit that. Uh, is it safe? I don't know what wave you'll get. Yeah, I mean, I know it's... The problem is is that you know you'll get... Nice job, Jerry, by the way. That was an awesome box. All right, well, moving on to Kevin B. Um, you know how much product you're getting of Shining Fate. So a lot of, a lot of stores know how much they're getting already. But the problem is, is that they don't know how many they're going to be getting in each wave. That's the problem. <clears throat> the problem is is that there's only so many ETBs to go around. So you might get you might be told that you're getting, you know, a thousand ETBs total amongst all the waves, but there's no way of knowing how many you're gonna be getting in each wave. Can't wait for your shining fates to come out so I can get the Darmanitan since it's my favorite book. Oh nice. Darmanitan is very cool. Would you buy Champions Path ETBs for $60? Um, I feel like Champions Path ETBs are out and about right now. So they shouldn't be too difficult to find. Maybe at very close to uh, retail. I don't think $60 is necessarily a bad price. Hey! We got a Grimmsnarl V-Shiny. Um, 
So I don't think that $60 is a bad price. I think it's a little bit high. I would try and keep it as close to retail as you possibly can right now. Just started getting back into collecting and have been glued to your content. Love your stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Workmeister. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I pre-ordered Shining Fates through GameStop. Awesome. Hopefully I'm doing a better job of removing this code. Grim, Grim Snow looks, I got 11 Champions Path for $53. That's a good price. Real Boom V. You get kind of tricked with some of these uh, Silver Border cards. 60 is safe if you don't want to drive around personally. Yeah, $60 isn't bad. I know there's a lot of a lot of driving around that can be involved and when you go to stores all the time and you have empty shelves it can get kind of frustrating so sometimes you're just like I'll bite the bullet and spend sixty dollars love your videos hope you pull some fire today oh thank you so much my favorite WOTC was Neo sets also uh, especially Neo Destiny I think that would be my favorite one to open once we get to Send a Scorch V Max Man, I ordered three shiny star V boxes from Emza. Nice. Polka Trainer Bean. Hey, love the content and I've learned a lot from your channel. Can you give me a shout out? Just started my own channel, Breaking Packs at Polka Trainer Bean. Polka Trainer Bean, there you go. I'm ready for another God Pack. That rush was amazing. Hey, Dreadnought, Crobat VMAX. Have you heard any news about the Zacian and um, Zamazenta Ultra Premium Collection release? Yeah, so uh, from what I've heard is it should be the first week in January. So they're thinking this weekend sometime is when it should start coming out. It should start coming out. There was some huge issues with uh, the packaging, so. Yeah, I picked up two Champions Path ETBs for 55 and sold. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. Hey, we got an amazing rare Reshiram. When it comes to scalper, so it depends on what your terminology is of a scalper. So in my mind, a scalper is somebody who literally goes to the store um, buys everything at the store, drives around to all the local retailers, and just starts buying everything up and then reselling it. Uh, somebody who gets their fair share, maybe takes a couple of items. I don't necessarily consider that person to be a scalper. If they open something up and they pull what they want, and they're like, well, I'll sell this one to recoup some of my money. Hey, we got a shiny swana. Nice. I think the scalpers, the people who are bad for the community, the people who are buying hundreds of things, buying out stores, and then going around and selling everything. Hold on to XY Evolution, buy and packs, or sell and open in hopes of the Charizard. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't open up. <laughs> Evo is tough right now, and the amount of Charizards that are flooding the market, there's got to be so many at PSA. That's crazy. There's got to be a ton at PSA right now with the backlogs that they have. Crowbat V. If you sell, that's not good. Don't buy it in the first place. Well, it depends. I mean, I can see where you're coming from, but at the same time, if I were to go out, let's say, and I bought a Champion's Path ETB, let's say there were 10 in the store and I bought two of them. I opened the first one and I pulled, I have seen people pull two Charizards from one ETB, and the only cards that they were going after was the two Charizards. Hey, we've got a shiny Galarian Ponyta. Nice. I mean, it's difficult then to be like, oh, well, don't don't sell them, you know? Opened a hollow Charizard and two reverse hollow Charizards in 30 packs, so I'd say open them. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Charizard is still selling for a lot. Thank you so much, Carl. I appreciate it. Charizard is still selling for a lot from the evolutions, even though you figure there's so many out there. It's crazy how many evolutions packs have been opened. 
Get O V. Kevin, we need a God pack for you, my friend. What's up, fam? What's up, Pokeballs? How are you doing? People are overhyped about Charizards, but people don't realize Crobat V is literally the best card in the TCG right now. Crobat V is an amazing card. That ability to just sit down and help draw support and consistency for your uh, for your uh, your hand is crazy good. Once tournaments start back up, it's going to be a really big deal. I've been trying to be very, very careful with Crobat Vs. Congrats on your God Pack. Oh, thank you so much. Just catching up. Congratulations to Jerry V. Nekalarian Ponyta is really cool. Swana. I think you get two amazing rares, usually per box. This one only had one. Reshiram. One to two per box. I think you're guaranteed one, it seems. Would you recommend buying Hidden Fates or Shining Fates ETBs? Yeah, I mean, I. if you think about right now where Hidden Fates is, the prices have come down quite a bit for the ETBs compared to where they were. So they're still, you got to figure they're going to go back up once this, this wave goes, you know, bye-bye. Is the store currently down? It is down for purchases, not down for viewing. We're doing inventory right now, so we're going to be working a lot on the website. So we're kind of taking a week to try and get everything updated. This is for Jackie K. My area has a terrible scalping issue. How can I combat it? <laughs> the problem is, is that I don't know if you can necessarily combat it. You just have to try to not be a part of the problem. Um, and the best way to combat it is just to not buy. You know, if they can't sell their product, then they're not going to be able to. It's supposed to go to Kevin. Then they're not going to be able. If they can't sell their product, they're not going to keep buying it all out. Right away, we've got a shiny Lapras V Max. Nice. Very cool. Do you think CGC is going to end up being a top tier grading company with all the backlog of PSA and Becca? Um, I think that shiny v, or that CGC will start getting a lot more consideration. PSA is obviously the most notable in a lot of people's minds. I think PSA has a stronghold on that, and I don't think they're going to relinquish it, relinquish it anytime soon, despite the backlog of products that they have right now, or the backlog of, yeah, products, of customer products that they have right now. Uh, but I do think CGC is going to continue to gain notoriety. They actually did end up pu pushing back their, um, their standard sub time to, I think, 60 days from what it originally was, which was 30 days. So they're definitely starting to gain a lot of traction. Uh, I know people, for the most part, like PSA slabs a lot more. Electricity, VMAX, than they do with the CGC slabs, and I can see why. CGC has this benefit of being in the game for so long and having, um, you know, comic books in their background and everything, so... You're never going to combat it, bro. Yeah, it's tough to combat scalping. I mean, resellers are going to be resellers. People who go and buy out the store, you just have to try not to participate. That's the best thing that you can do. If you're not buying product from them, then they're selling less. Put up a limit. Yeah, it is very interesting to see how many stores right now are limiting, which hopefully helps a little bit. Especially stores like Walmart and Target when they start putting stuff behind the counter where it's more difficult to access. And there's definitely a limit that's being more enforced. Dragapult V. I heard PSA is getting bought out. Yeah, PSA already got bought out by another company, so hopefully that helps out. It's not just the mo Pokemon market that's struggling. Yeah, there's a lot of markets that are struggling right now. Like in, when you look at manufacturing in general, a lot of these companies had to take time off due to shutdowns or whatever for not being essential businesses so less supply out there people were home a lot more people started collecting more people started looking at their old collection more people started buying out companies online going to the store and buying out those stores and then couldn't keep up just like that video game industry is crazy right now yeah retro games are up really all collectibles are, are pretty crazy right now
Oh, I really want to get a Charizard. Come on. I work at Target. Whenever we get ETBs like Champions Path and Vivilch, they're usually cut behind the counter. Yep. That is a very smart idea. So that way, even if people want some, they can just, they have to ask. And that way, a, a customer service representative or an employee can just be like, okay, I can sell you two, but I can't sell you more than that. That's a great idea. Electricity V. Yeah, another shiny. Can't even remember Groki's evolved form. How do you simulcast? It's customer service counter. Yeah, we are overdue for another god pack. <laughs> Just get one per box. I don't know how many god packs. Somebody said it was one to s one out of every 600 or 700 packs. Um, I don't know if there's a certain amount per case. Obviously, there's only 200 packs per case. Zacian V. Thwacky. Thank you. There's about 30% more anglers and hunters on top of that, too. Yeah, I mean, everything is crazy right now. Just shy of 300. Alright, last pack for Jake. Come on, Jake. Oh, Ooh, we got something. Oh, we got some gold. Oh, we got a Galarian Surfetched. And we've got a Golden Eternatus V. Wow. Look at that. Very, very cool. Woo. That was gold card hype. Nice. So the shiny charge ought to be from both SSV and Champions Path. Nice. That's a way to end it. That's a good good last pack for your box. A shiny and a secret rare. It's amazing. Anyone else blow their entire stimulus on cards? I don't know if you want to blow your entire stimulus on cards. I can understand a little bit. Definitely remember your, your local game store when it comes to spending that kind of money because they're struggling right now. But I can definitely see a little bit of it, yeah. All right, I'm going to get some more sleeves. Alright, we are moving on to Sean. I'm going to sit down more. I was sitting on my knees and my feet were falling asleep. My local game store doesn't really stock Pokemon, only Magic and Comics. $600 will buy one Evo Booster Box. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of where we're at right now. So close to 30k. Got this man 30k. Oh, we're close. We are very close. Might even buy, actually buy an Evo box to hold. I kept thinking that Evo boxes might come down a little bit. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure there's some people who are sitting on quite a few of them, but they're $500 a box is just crazy. I remember when Evolutions first came out, and at the time the competitive world was like, "What are we supposed to do with this set? There was nothing in it that was super beneficial." What do we got here? Hey, right away. Amazing rare. Evital. Followed by a Drake Pulp V. This is for Sean. Sean M. I've seen Evos coming down close to $400. I was looking the other day and I saw them. I think you could find them for $450. You got to assume the holidays pushed things up a little bit too. USPS is beyond swamped right now, yeah. I feel bad for USPS with all the stuff that they have going on. So many shipments, it's crazy. Lapras VMAX. Sword and Shield base set isn't bad. I mean, you have the Secret Rares, Aceon, and Zamazenta, which are cool. Our first print codes or second print. I don't know what that means. Like, so Evolutions ETB really that high in price now? Uh, I mean, some stores are selling them for, you know, 150 Some stores are selling them for 90 Really just depends on availability, I guess. Crobat V.
Let's get that Charizard. Our CE booster box is worth 250. Can't seem to find. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse. You may want to wait. You know, there was that rumor that they're going to get reprinted in January. I haven't heard any confirmation with that at all, but. Hey, thanks for the $5 super chat. Miss Workmeister. Be careful with any evil you see around $400. I've been seeing a lot of fakes out there right now. Really? We do not want that. Fakes are not good. People taking advantage of the market. PSA is backlogged. Big time. Alright. Let's pull something good out of this pack. And by good, I mean amazing. Like a Charizard. Or something fantastic. Or, I mean, DDP. <laughs> well, that's not fantastic. One God Pack. Yeah, we pulled one God Pack. It was the third box in. It was very, very exciting to go through. Very exciting to open. And then we pulled a Golden Eternatus. A box of Tag Team GX All-Stars. That must have been fun to open. Thanks, Mr. Pickles, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hey! Shiny Santa Scorch. And a Santa Scorch VMAX. Can you order Evo boxes from other distributors? Not right now. It doesn't seem like anybody has any. Um, there may be a couple distributors who are selling them, but even then they're selling them at, you know, a ridiculous price. <sighs> hey, shiny Dedenne. And a Phalanx V. Love your contact or Susan will be the auction for Team Rocket first set going for twenty four six. Wow. Yeah, I mean that's that's crazy. That was an auction on PWCC. That's very, very high. You can buy them, I mean you should be able to find them for cheaper than that. I've seen people selling them for, you know, sixteen sixteen, seventeen thousand, somewhere around there for a first edition one. That's very high. Zacian V. Really want to support my local card shop, but when I get ETBs boost boxes for cheaper online, what can I do? I would talk to I would talk to them. Honestly, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't go to my LGS anymore because their prices are ridiculous. I mean, their prices might be ridiculous for a reason. They might be, you know, putting them higher because they want to stop scalping. Hey, Santa Scorch V shiny. Just covering all the Santa Scorches. Um, I would go talk to them and just say, hey, I'm really interested in buying this. I can buy it here online, but I'd much rather support you. Is there any way you can come down in price to get to this point? Once they get to know you, you build that relationship with your LGS and they understand who you are and what you're trying to accomplish. You know, things change. Things are a lot different. Woo, look at that. Shiny Inteleon. That's a cute looking card. Very cool looking. One of my LGS sell at market or above. I got all the. Yeah. I mean, some of them do that. I can understand. I'm not going to sit here and tell you every single LGS is is going to work with you, but I think that uh, you'd be surprised at how many will. Some have buyer clubs. Yeah, some have buyer clubs. The reason why XY Hazard is going for 5K. Um, XY, what set are you talking about for five thousand dollars? You're talking about the Evo XY Hazard. Oh, all right, who's next? Evan gets two. Let's get another god pack. Come on, Evan. My LGS hooks me up due to super nice. There you go. Mine has free memberships, and you get 10% off. Here, nice. Yeah, if you support them, and they see that you're uh, supporting them for a long-standing relationship, a lot of times they'll, they'll work with you. Hey, Dan, fan, what's up, brother? All right, Evan, let's do something. What's up, JB? How are you doing? Are the Vivid Voltage promo cards any good to have? Yeah, I mean, all the promo cards are always good to have. I don't know if you're talking about specific to the build and battle boxes. The Charizard is obviously going to be good to have. If you have a staff Charizard right now, if they continue discontinuing the staff releases, that's going to be a huge deal. Shiny Galarian Persecure. Nice. 
first pack shiny. My closest LGS is like an hour away. But if he's willing to sell you a Hidden Fates ETB for $60, that might be worth the hour drive. And local game stores are important. I mean, the great thing about them is that you can obviously work with them, hopefully, get some decent deals, and then it keeps them open. You know, it keeps them having events. Right now they don't have events because of everything going on, so a lot of places don't have events. So it's important to keep supporting them. Otherwise, everything goes online, and then what can you what can you really do to prevent on, prevent online? You know, people are gonna sell at the price that they want to sell it online. How do you feel about these staff promos? Yeah, I mean it's a it's a strong investment right now. I don't know if I'd go super crazy because I think the market is a little high because I think everybody has that idea. Shiny for Link's V. I think everybody kind of has the idea to buy up a lot of the staff cards that are out there right now. So I wouldn't go too crazy. Phone legging. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Evolutions, the original print quality was not great. We've got a shiny Bunnelby and a Kyogre Amazing Rare, both in the same pack. Nice. What's a spot you recommend to buy Japanese sets? A couple of friends who are out in Japan, luckily, that I've met throughout the years, who helped me out with this set. Otherwise, typically, I don't buy a whole lot of Japanese cards. Um, but there's there's some decent contacts you can meet out there. Otherwise, you, you kind of have to stick to, you know, the Trolling Toads and the Toy Wizzes and these, these companies that you know what you're getting are legitimate. Say Xi'an V. Um, what a fun set. I love Shiny V. Shiny V is a ton of fun. Hey! Santa Scorch V Max. Japanese cards are so centered, or centered so well. They are very, very, very good as far as manufacturer goes. As far as quality goes, they're fantastic. Look at him starting from Instagram. <laughs> yeah, we got. I got lucky. Very lucky. Do you know the exact release date for the Hidden Fates ETBs? There's not actually. There's not a release date, and that's the problem. That's where a lot of people get confused. Reprints don't have a specific release date like a set release would. So it's just kind of Dragapult V. It's just kind of when it happens. So you have approximate days when they're expecting it, but it should be, I mean, some places are already getting their Hidden Fates ETBs. I would check with your LGS to see if they got them already, but a lot of places are getting them in this week. So if you're looking for like a retail store to hit up or something like that, uh, I would check this weekend and see. Toys One Japan. Toys One Japan, is that a good place to buy Japanese cards? Japanese cards should be worth more than English cards. Toxicroak looks pretty cool. Link's V, Garbodor. Heard they were on Barnes and Noble shelves yesterday. Yeah, that was one place that I mentioned to look in um, my Hidden Fates video that I posted last week was don't forget about your local bookstores like Barnes and Noble, Books a Million. A lot of times they have Pokemon cards and people just kind of forget about those. So it doesn't all have to be Walmart or GameStop or Target. All right, Evan, box number two. My store got Hidden Fates ETBs, but they're selling it for $100. That's actually not that bad of a price. I got mine for an LGS. Any fire pulls while I was gone? No, not really. What is happening, Danny? What's going on, Static? How are you doing? Evan, let's get a God Pack. Let's get a Charizard. Let's get both. Not in this pack, though. 
Here we go, boys. Hit that like button. Hi, Danny. What's up, Turbo? How are you doing? Yeah, $100 for a Hidden Fate CTB is not that bad, considering the market price right now is a decent amount higher than that. And then when you consider what they'll probably end up selling for coming up soon-ish. Might be kind of pricey. It might not be It might not be a terrible uh, investment. So close to 30000 I don't even know where we're at right now. So if hearing things right, Hidden Fates will be in stores within the next couple of days to a week. Um, so I don't know exactly what the retail stores will get as far as their shipment goes. I would assume that's my assumption, but I also know that they are going to be very, very limited. So if you're not there right when they're stocking the shelves, I mean, it might be difficult. They should be there within the next week is my assumption. Cards are out of stock in my local store. Oh, that's too bad. Are those just ETB sleeves? Yeah, for now. I have a bunch of penny sleeves coming in. So hopefully they get here in time for the weekend. Rillaboom V Max. Dartrix is pretty cool. These are from the these sleeves are from the What's going on, Pokemon TCG? Uh, these are from the, the trainer's toolkit with the Dedenny. They much uh, feel much better than the ETB sleeves, at least. Yeah, we did have a God Pack already on the third box, but it's been a little silent since then. We got an amazing rare Reshiram, followed by a... Ooh, look at that shiny Dragapult VMAX. That's very nice. That is a super cool looking card. This is what makes you excited for Shining Fates right there. Those kinds of pulls. Local Walgreens, okay. Yeah, I know Walgreens has started having some of those repacks in some areas where they have, um, what did you say, evolutions, two evolutions and a Hidden Fates? Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know how much those repacks sell for, but... Ditto V. Cape of Toughness. Local card of the scalp with the product is limited. 12, 120 for Champions Path is outrageous. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, and if you have product in your local Walmart, I mean, that's something that I would definitely talk to your LGS about. Because you also don't want them to take advantage of the, of the market. I would say that most of the LGSs are going to be really good, but you'll have some every once in a while who are a little stubborn, we'll say. To be political. Bullying? Send a scorch fee. So these breaks are all sold out. We will do more in the future. Just got back in the hobby in 2017. Yeah, it's been a crazy amount of growth. I was here for the Evolutions hype after Pokemon Go. Um, and it was... I mean, it was a very, very strong time, especially for the competitive side of the game. Um, regional events started setting records. It was very, very popular. Ooh, look at that Gengar. That's a cool-looking Gengar. But this is this is like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, this is insane. I bought from Toys One Japan. Japanese vintage, nice. What's up, Brian? How are you doing? Japanese cards are a lot of fun to open, and their quality is so much better. Oh, oh nice! We got a Skyla. Ooh. Zamazenta. Look at this Skyla. Very cool. That's awesome. Nice. Alright, last pack for Evan. Poggers. Shiny Mincino, Crobat V, what a park, <laughs> very cool, very cool. End up getting four Hidden Fate TBs for 125 a piece at my local card shop, not bad. 
I'm glad that they have it in already. It's very. It seems like it's very, very out there on when people are expecting stuff to arrive, especially with these these hidden fates. Everybody's getting them at different times, which can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. It's a bad thing if you need to, if you're going over to all these different places to look. You know, you got to keep going to all these different places, and it's like, uh, where am I going? Where am I going to go now? Let's go to the next store. All right, Dylan is next. Dylan, my friend. See my Walmart raised their prices of vivid voltage to 65. Holy cow, is a Walmart? That's nuts. About a case and a half of Shiny Star V. Very cool. Dylan, let's get a Charizard or a God Pack. I keep saying that. One of these times it's going to happen. Ooh, Careless and a Dragapult VMAX right away. That's how you start a box. We did sell these on the website. Yeah, the vintage breaks we do on a different website, but these we sold on pkmandcoliseum.com. Yep. This is our first one. We're just kind of testing the waters with it to see how things go. God packs need to be done in English. Yes, they do. Thank you. I could not agree more. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, Golden Eternatus V. Wow, first two packs. We have Full Art Careless, a Shiny Dragapult V Max, and a Secret Rare Eternatus V. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Let's pick gold. I love gold. Yeah, this was a uh, kind of a last minute thing that we decided to try and do. So it, it went pretty quick. Hey, Secret Rift, or uh, Shiny Thwacky. And an Eldegos V. Three packs, three hits. My local target restocked on Vivid Voltage Champions Path. They have 20 of each. Nice. That's really good. Vivid Voltage is a very, very fun set. The Amazing Rares make it a whole lot more fun to open because when you open up a booster box especially, you know you're getting like 10 hits. Tell me next time. Um, I put it on my Instagram story, I believe. Another shiny, holy cow. Galarian Surfetched. I want to finish my collection. Are you uh, collecting the master set for this? That is uh, <laughs> very bold. Would you guys like to see Danny's do... Danny, do a bunch more breaks. I would. Hey, Greg. Hi, Steve. Found a little adulterage at my Walmart yesterday. I haven't seen... I went to uh, Walmart last night because I'm awesome and decided it would be fun to go check out their clearance Christmas stuff. <laughs> like wrapping paper at 50% off. Um, and I went past... They do have their uh, the card se selection like behind the customer service counter. And there was nothing there. It was all gone. All gone. I haven't bought anything from Walmart or Target or any retail store in a long, long time. But I just like to look to see if there's anything there. Save up for this set in English. That's a good idea. Look at Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It's just so fun of a card. Double V. Maybe next time Papa comes down, he can do a break. Does everybody want to watch Papa do a break? Lapras V Max. Especially new sets. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Has anyone seen any human face? Yeah, it seems I haven't seen any at uh, Target or Walmart. I know some places said that their LGSs have them. Toys One Japan is pretty awesome. I've never been on Toys One Japan's website. I'll have to go check them out. Let Papa open. Free Papa. Hey. Ditto V. 
Papa is buried under a bunch of snow right now, probably, and ice. He needs to come over and he can do the... What's the next set that we have? Shining Fates. He can do a break for Shining Fates. What is an LGS? LGS stands for Local Game Store. So your local game store. We had all the heavy hitters in this box at the beginning. Still a really, really good box. Lots of exciting stuff in this box. Golden Eternatus V. We got a Careless. We got a Dragapult V Max Shiny. Dylan, nice box, my friend. That is a winner. Alright, who's next? Ulysses! Is Ulysses in the chat? He has literally bought into every single break that I've done. Whether, it, I mean, this is the first modern break that I've done, but every vintage he's been here. Oh, thanks for being here, Dylan. I appreciate it. Good box, my friend. What did you charge per box on this break? What did I charge? One, maybe somebody who bought one can answer it. <laughs> $124.99? I think. I just looked up what they were going for on eBay and then just went a little bit lower. I think $125 is what we did. Eternatus V. Do you still have the Shiny Star V box available? Uh, we do have some left. So once we get the website updated next week, we will post the remaining inventory that we have. Um, but those will be obviously shipped to you sealed. I don't think we'll do another break for these. Uh, retailers restocking the Hidden Fates ETBs. Not the big box stores, I don't think. Not yet. It should be very, very soon. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy cow! I was not expecting that at all. Whoa! Ulysses with the fire! Straight fire pull! Woohoo! Maybe I just don't need to say it. I didn't say anything when I opened this box, and that's when we pulled it. Holy cow. Wow. Ulysses. Nice. Wowee. I can't wait for this to be in English. But here it is in Japanese. Right there. Wow. That is unexpected. Was not expecting that to just hit out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Congratulations, Ulysses. Amazing pull. That's what we like to see. We just wanted one. Now, can you get a shiny Charizard V in the same box? That would be magic. Yeah, he's bought in every single break so far. Ulysses is a great, great guy. Lit me on fire. <laughs> me too. I was shocked. Very taken aback by that. It came out of nowhere. I was trying to answer a question. Now I don't remember what the question was. It's fake. <laughs> came straight out of the box. It's fake. I'm in Michigan. LDS are getting their headphones ETV today. Oh, nice. I have not even gotten notification of ours being shipped yet. Hopefully soon. Evital, amazing rare. <sighs> All right. I can definitely do that for everybody. Because I got some right next to me here. Protect the goodies. All right, moving on. How many amazing rares per box average? I think one. I've seen some boxes get two. They usually it's one. Uh, Math Beanie, we just pulled our first one, actually. Our first... Whoops, this pile. VMAX. Only card I'm chasing from Shiny V now. God Pack, Gold Card, and now Zard. 
Yeah, we've hit pretty much everything with this case so far. Everything you could possibly want, except for that. Still need to get the shiny Charizard V. And there's some more gold cards we need to get in. What's going on, F Freshly Cut Grass? How are you doing? Do you know all the cards in Shining Legends? Do I know all the cards in Shining Legends? I should. Are you talking about Shining Fates, though? Shining Legends, I think I know all of them. Off the top of my head. Shining Fates, we don't know all of them yet. I don't think we... I don't think we know them all yet. Did I miss the shiny Ditto pull? I do think we did pull... I do think we did pull a shiny Ditto VMAX. I left the V card in the bulk pile. Oh, double. Good catch. Thank you. Good looking out. Dragapult VMAX. How much do the gold Japanese cards go for? Uh, I don't know what they're going for now. I think when the set first released, it was around 60-ish. All right, this is last pack. Alex, thanks so much for the super chat. After the first run of Shiny Star V, the codes don't do anything. It's just an ad. For the original run, you'd get a code that you can use for Sword and Shield. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate the information. You learn every day. The things you learn, the more you know. Wow, amazing rare Russia Ram. Lapras. Whew. This is a good box. All right, Ulysses, congratulations on your amazing box, my friend. Bam. All right, let's look at this one more time. Is that our second amazing rare in the box? Yeah, we got two in that box. Evitol and Rush Ram. And the amazing, the best card of all. Secret Air Charizard VMAX. Full Art Marnie in next box. That would be nice. I'm sure Joshua would like that. Because his box is next. All right. We're opening up two boxes here for Joshua. Dark hook pass. Pass by a dark. Congrats. Congrats. Someone let me know. 125, 150 TB. Um, that's like the... That would probably be my limit of where I would go. 125 is probably the max that I would go for uh, as a collector for Hidden Fates. Shiny pull right out of the gates. Can't remember the teacup's name. Good luck to my bro Joshua. Hey, thanks for the super chat. Game with Swain. Come on, Ditto VMAX. Is that what Joshua wants? A Ditto VMAX? Bird Keeper. Zacian V. First edition shiny star. I bought a computer search for $20. Is that a good LOL? Uh, what computer search? Computer search from like black and white sets, like the A spec one, or a computer search like the base one? Yes, that's what I want. Okay, let's get it. Ditto. We want a Ditto V. We want a shiny Ditto V. Maybe they'll come in a God pack. Shiny Ditto is my favorite. Dollar packs can be weighed. Yeah, they can be. <sighs> Come on, Ditto V. Oh, we got a Ditto V, just not a shiny one. The A-Spec. Yeah, $20 for an A-Spec computer search is a really good deal. 
That is probably one of the most demanded cards when it comes to the expanded format. Hey! Oh, Amazing Rare Evitol. Reverse Hollow. Quick Ball. Eldegos V. I see Wade Vivid Voltage Packs on eBay. Is that a scam? I don't think you can Wade Vivid Voltage Packs. Um, any of the modern set eras should not be weighable because the code cards are different weights. So anything after XY should... Is it XY? Sword and Shield? Or Sun and Moon. Anything after Sun and Moon should not be weighable anymore because they have offsetting code card weights. Dragapult VMAX. Come on! Oh, we're just going for that Ditto V. Shiny Ditto V. This stream inspired me to go buy some booster boxes. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oranguru is good. Yo, Pokemon community, how are we? What's going on? What's up, Pokewave? We're going for a shiny Ditto V, but we got a Rillaboom. We pulled the Charizard in the last pa uh, last box. Charizard V Max. The Gold Oranguru is really, really cool. Santa Scorch V Max. Come on, Shiny Ditto V. I'm, go I'm, I'm, ca I'm calling it. I'm going for it. I'm putting all of my energy into this Shiny Ditto V. That's all we want. We're not even being greedy, really. <laughs> That's what Dragapult V. Dragapult V is a really cool card, but it's not a shiny Ditto V. Alright, last pack. This is the pack it's got to be in. Ooh! Orangaroo shiny! Oh, it's a Lapras V. <laughs> Still very cool. Shiny Lapras V is nice. Any way to get notifications when you update uh, your website? Um, I don't think so. We tried uh, installing some apps that would allow people to al uh, enable alerts for specific products. So that's something we're looking on. It's Schrodinger's Ditto. <laughs> we have to believe. Yeah, everybody believe. This is Schrodinger's Ditto right here. Come on, Josh. This is the box. If it's not the box, and you pull a God Pack, I'm sure somebody will trade you their Ditto V for your God Pack. I mean, that's good. I'm trying to do the pack trick here. All I want is, oh! Hey, another Ditto V! Just not a shiny. I really gotta learn the teacup slash teapot evolutions better. So that way I can actually show my excitement when I open those because they're so cute looking. Uh, Champions Path Elite Trainer Boxes, are they worth holding on to? I mean, I don't think any ETBs are ever a bad idea to hold on to. If you look at the history of Elite Trainer Boxes throughout Pokemon, every single one of them goes up in price. They never go down in price. So, it's always going to be a good investment, especially long-term. Sealed product in general is always going to increase. Now, different levels are going to increase, or different products are going to increase at different rates and different levels, and a lot of it's going to depend on, you know, popularity in the game and things like that. Hey! Galarian Zigzagoon, Shiny, Toxic V. But, you know, it's always a good investment. It's also a lot of fun to open, so if you were able to find them at a decent price, 
you may want to hold on to the one that you paid $65 for and open the one that you paid $50 for, or vice versa. All right, let's get that shiny ditto view. Yeah, I know there's a lot of hate on Rebel Clash. I don't think it's a bad set. The last bad set, or I shouldn't say bad set, but the last set that I was not excited to open at all was probably either Steam Siege or Fates Collide. Those were probably the last two sets that I was like, uh. What day does Danny restock his online store? Really every day. It's kind of a kind of a guess. Any day is any day is a good day. Whenever I can find time. Shiny camera. Crowbat V. Still looking for that shiny ditto. Pikachu's the mascot. Pikachu is the mascot. I need a shiny Pikachu. One day. Ooh. Those silver borders really get you. You think you've got something fantastic in this a silver border. One day for... I'll keep checking every day then. <laughs> Yeah, right now we're not, um, you're, you're good for the next few days at least because we're doing inventory right now. So there will not be any, the website will not even let you check anything out until hopefully I'll get everything done by Sunday. Oh, amazing work, Kyogre. Oh my goodness, we did it. Oh, there you go. Joshua. It's the Schrodinger effect. Oh, I've never been so excited to pull a Ditto V. That's awesome. Congratulations, my friend. We pulled your card. Your chase card. We're going to hard case it up for you right away, too. I think this is the one that you wanted. Unless it was the VMAX, in which case... Uh, I think I'm done helping you now. Alright, now everybody can't be like, Oh, I want... I want a Charizard V. Shiny. I still need to sleep that one. Super hype. Ditto V Max. That's very exciting. Lapras V and the Shiny Ditto. It's awesome. We got our V, we got our Charizard V Max. Now we just need a shiny Charizard V. Gameless win. Grass Jasper, let's go. Thanks for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Zamazenta V. Stink blue, not purple. Ha ha. <laughs> Alright. I think Joshua is our last person who got two boxes. And a Crobat V Max. Not a bad box. All right, we need a God Pack now. I'm gonna put the Ditto V on the top. Okay. Team bags out of the way. All right, we're moving on to Fahim. Come down to it. Got a few boxes left here. How many boxes in a Japanese case? 20. 20 boxes. Kavork Knight, shiny Kavork Knight right out of the gates. That's a cool card. When do the live box breaks get posted to buy? Uh, this is just kind of a test, but we will start doing this more frequently if it's something people are interested in. Kind of get a, get a survey and a feel for how things went. And if it's something you guys want to do, we'll do more. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at this! Ah! 
Whoa, Fahim pulled the fire. Nice. There it is. Wow. We have pulled basically everything. Look at that. So cute. Such a pretty card. These last few boxes have been just wonderful to open. Wow. Congratulations, Fahim. That is an awesome, awesome pull. Woo. That hits you right in the nerves. That is sweet. Oh. Congratulations. That is beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. Now let's pull the VMAX in the same box. Where do I buy packs? Packs for this break in specific? So this break is all sold out. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll post more of them in the future on the website. Galaxy, thank you so much for the super chat. If you had 2K to invest smartly in a card, would you have to go vintage? And what card would that be? Thanks for all you do. Um, so if I had $2,000 to invest, I would specifically buy uh, Rainbow Rares at decent prices. I would just buy a bunch of Rainbow Rare cards I think are very, very good investments because I think that they're unique. Um, and over time, they're going to continue to rise. If you look at the Rainbow Rares in general, uh, since their inception, they've just continued to climb like crazy. If I was buying $2,000 worth of cards to invest in one card, I would probably get another Legendary Collection Charizard. Because uh, I think those are just going to continue going up because they're so underpopulated. How you feel about the hyper rares, though? Yeah, I mean hyper rares, rainbow rares. Um, I think those are very, very safe investments long term. I think that they they're just unique, and they they just continue to climb in their older sets. Mom. Rillaboom V, Max. Gold Stars are a very good investment. And they haven't climbed as much as I thought they would be. Skyward Charizard, yeah. Crystal Charizard, wouldn't be bad. First Head Base Blastoise. Blastoise is always a good investment. I mean, if you can find uh, first edition base cards for a decent price, the problem is is that they're all super expensive right now. <laughs> They've all pretty much shot out, shot up in price. So it's about these from a wholesaler in Japan or a US. So this is from a uh, a friend who owns a card store in Japan, specific. So he got his from a Japanese distributor and then shipped a bunch over here. Rillaboom V. Did you hear about the guy who opened the first edition Team Rocket box and destroyed the cards a few weeks ago? I didn't. What was he doing? Like a flip and rip or something like that? I saw the guy who did it on stream that somebody paid him to cut or bend a, a vivid voltage pack and he ended up bending a rainbow chunky chew. Hey, Orbeetle. Shiny. Hey, Pokeball guy. Nice. That's a very cool card. Oh, was it Soda Poppin who did it? Cause I know who Soda Poppin is. Look at that. Very cool. But no, I didn't hear about that. The Ben Pikachu. Yeah, it's. I am not a. <laughs> I am not a flipper and ripper. Kind of person. Pokemon guy is a figment of my nightmare. I can see that. He's kind of like, I mean, kind of a clown, right? So, I, I can see that. It's a cool looking card, though. Can't get wrong on that. Eternatus VMAX. That was a good box. Congratulations, Fahim, on your Charizard V Shiny. That is fantastic. Very fantastic. I'll pull that one right up at the top. It was soda popping. Um, I mean, so Soda Poppin was when we did it. Did he did he destroy the the value of it? Probably not, because it's so minuscule at the time. As far as 
I mean, unless you're opening, you know, 25, 30 boxes, you're not really destroying the market. Because who knows? You know, one gets open, another one gets found in a storage shed somewhere. So there's still probably a fair amount of vintage stuff out there from an old card store in the 90s that closed up shop and put everything in the storage locker. And they're just discovering it now or, or some sort. All right, this is for Frank G. So do you use to find the value of Japanese cards? Uh, value of Japanese cards, I think you kind of have to go the eBay route, unfortunately. Unless somebody knows a better site to go to specifically for Japanese singles. About half the price rule of thumb. Half the price rule of thumb. There you go. Let's go, Frank! Get it, Frank. Hey! Got a Kvork Squire. Amazing rare Kyogre. Some of these double hitter boxes are really cool. I get confused because you pull a shiny. But that does have me very, very... I mean, that's what you love about Hidden Fates, right? You can pull a shiny and you can pull an ultra rare in the same pack. So, I mean, I wonder if you could pull... A shiny and an amazing rare. And an ultra rare and shining fates in the same pack. Never know. I guess we'll wait only a couple months and then we'll find out. I feel like we've opened Santa Scourge V a lot. Three amazing rares from this set for $13 off eBay. That's not bad. Imagine the storage auction buyers who bought the buy the storage units with old card shop product in them from the 90s. Talk about a gold mine. Yeah, no kidding, right? Ooh, another Skyla. Nice. And a Bolton V. Skyla is amazing. I love that card art. I always have. All the way back to the Boundaries Crossed set. There will never be a God Pack for English. You can dream. We can dream. I wouldn't mind a God Pack for English. It would be a lot of fun. Dragapult VMAX. I like Pokerev. Pokerev is great. I also like Pokerev. I gotta give props to the people who do this um, full time or oh, <laughs> for long periods of time. So we're at an hour and a half right now. <clears throat> My back is starting to hurt. That could also just be old age. Last Hidden Fates. Yes, I do think this will be the last Hidden Fates reprint, unfortunately. I also like Hard and All Gaming. Lapras Remax. Poker of is doing Team Rocket box tonight. Oh, nice. I'm doing Team Rocket on... What am I doing? Sunday. Do you own any Dragon Ball Z booster boxes? No, I don't. Um, I did get into the Dragon Ball Z. Hey. Shiny... What is that? A Nincant? Uh, I did get into Dragon Ball Z cards when I was younger for a little while. Uh, that and like Digimon and there was a Yu Yu Hakusho trading card game that I really enjoyed. So I kind of got into collecting those a little bit. Shiny Sobble. Beautiful. Amazon to be. Do you ship international? Yes. How was the price for one box of Shiny Star V? We did 125 for one of these. Left V in bulk. Thank you. You guys are so helpful. Double. It's a double again. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's just because it's always a double. Isn't the TOP booster box going for like 5k? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked. Is it? Get your white eyes dragon alternate. <laughs> uh, I miss uh, opening original Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You forgot the double. Yep, I got it. We got it. We good. Last pack. Get some magic. We got something. <gasps> hey, Rillaboom V. Shiny Rillaboom V. There you go, Frank. 
Ooh. Look at that shiny monkey. That is very nice. How many booster boxes getting opened? So we're doing uh, a case, which is 20. Moving right along, we've got Clay next. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Maybe we'll get doubles of things. Yeah. Uh, what are the best and most available packs to buy and collect? What are the best and most available packs? I mean, right now, nothing's available, unfortunately. Um, hopefully soon, we'll see a lot more Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage. I mean, Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage are fantastic sets to open. You obviously have your Charizard Hunt in Darkness Ablaze, and then you have the Pikachu Hunt in Vivid Voltage, plus the Amazing Rares. It's a lot of cool stuff. All right, Clay, let's do this. Have you seen the leaks of print and process? Yeah. Yeah, from Cardinal Gaming. He's a smart guy. And he does a fantastic job. Dragapult V. Will Darkness Ablaze get an ETB reprint? I I have not heard if the ETBs are included or not. Vivid Voltage for sure. Darkness Ablaze for sure. Booster boxes. Not heard anything about um, Darkness Ablaze being ETBs. We'll find out soon enough though. Reshiram Secret Rare. These are the new Shiny Star V packs. So these released what? Around Thanksgiving? Right before Thanksgiving? I get my Shiny Star V box today. Awesome! Very cool. Alright. Hey, we've got a shiny Cincino, Eldegoss V. Did you see the Vivid Voltage build and battle boxes being reprinted? I haven't. I know that they seem to have been coming up with additional waves of them, which is really cool. Because those got super pricey very fast, and then now they have started to come back down to earth a little bit. I haven't seen any confirmation about them being reprinted. Dragapult VMAX. Big market, yep. Do you think this booster box will be more valuable than others in the future? Which booster box in specific? The booster box that we're opening right now, the Shiny Star V? I mean, yes, I think that this will, will hold value more than other uh, booster box sets just because I mean you have shinies in this other sets with shinies are like hidden fates and that's pretty much it Crobat VMAX is it possible to request to buy specific common and uncommon cards um, the problem is, is that we have so much bulk and so many singles if it's a new set that you're looking for, uh, you can definitely message me and I will try my best if I know where they're located to pull them for you. Send a Scorch V. But it's not typically something that we put up on the website just because the margins are so low on like a common and uncommon card. And then the organizational system that you would need in place to house, is would it would just be insane. And that's where we would need like a warehouse or a storefront that we sell singles out of. What is this going to be? Amazing Rare and a Shiny Senescorch VMAX. That is a heck of a pack. Holy cow. Where do you sell your singles? Are they NTC player? I was looking for your stock. We sell singles on our website. Um, just pkmncoliseum.com. And we are going to use this next week to update pricing and stock levels like crazy. Because right now it is very out of date. We were selling on TCG player for a very long time. But now that the website has started to take off more and more it's difficult to keep things in both areas so going back and forth you know Zacian V alright last pack let's go clay 
Hey, a Sun Scorch Remax. We pulled a regular Sun Scorch Remax and a shiny Sun Scorch Remax. Hopefully, you're a huge um, Sun Scorch Remax fan. So excited! Do you collect both reverse hollows and non hollows from Master Sets? Yeah, I do. Papa differs from me, I think, in that category. Or no, he just differs from me in uh, setting up the Master Sets. Papa will have to do a video one time about his amazing collection. All right, next up is Raphael. We've got four left. When should you PSA, some, PSA something? Uh, so that's a long video for another day. But what I like to do is I like to look at the population reports and see how much is out there in existence of a certain product. So if I'm opening something that's a little bit older and I want to see how much of it is out there, I will go on the PSA population report and kind of get a feel for how much of it is already in existence and then decide if it's worth grading or not after looking up different comps on eBay. Grapalot? Shiny? Double V. I like your method better. <laughs> Time to go back and redo all of your master sets, Papa. Redo them all. So what happened to all those? I didn't see any of them get restocked in my country. Is it any? I mean, all the reprints that I talk about are going to be specific to North America because they all deal with North American manufacturing plants. So there have been times where Europe has released reprint Europe, for example like the hidden fates etb uh reprint was only for europe originally and then north america got included about uh, a couple days later colossal is a cool looking card lapras v come on Raphael. all right guys this is for Raphael. I'm hoping we get one more God Pack yet. We did get one, which is really cool. But we want we want to be greedy and pull another one. It was pretty early on. We pulled two gold cards. We've pulled both Charizards. So we've pretty much got everything we put, we would want right now. I also send uh, grading cards to Ludkins USA. There might be some buffering going on. Hopefully it's okay, but we are getting pelted with some bad weather right now, unfortunately. The snow is falling. Rillaboom V. Gets come. Uh, how come some of the items behind you aren't on the store for sale? Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, can you be specific? There's a lot of stuff on the website right now, or not on the website right now, I should say. Everything that's behind me... Uh, will be on the website soon. We're doing inventory right now, so it's either new stuff that we got in or stuff that was kind of just in my own personal collection or used for giveaways at one point in time. But everything that is going to be behind me will be up on the website. We're just doing inventory right now and getting everything updated. My dad Sean bought for me. You inspired me to start my own. Oh, thank you so much, Poke K. Everybody check out at polka underscore K on cards on Instagram and YouTube, right? Very cool. I think North Carolina and some places in South, maybe Washington State. Yeah, I think Texas too. Grammar V. XY Evo ETB. Um, I don't know if, I think there's just a giant backlog of evil ETBs and they just started releasing them all at random times in different waves. Shiny Bolt End, very cool, and an Eternatus V. A severe western possible for New Year's Day. Ooh, tornadoes, yuck. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting uh, pelted with some snow today. We're supposed to get seven inches and then... That's supposed to clear up tomorrow morning. So New Year's should be fine. We got a little bit yesterday. Oh, boy. We got gold and shiny in the same pack. Look at this. Ah, look at that. Eternatus VMAX and a shiny Eldegos V. That is an awesome pack, Raphael. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Wow. There's that Eldegos V shiny. You hit 30,000. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. 
Look at that gold. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 30K, congrats. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Never thought this would happen. Thank you so much. What up, Danny? Any more word on Hidden Fates ETBs hitting stores? Uh, any day. I would just look every day this week. I think this weekend you're going to start seeing stuff quite a bit. Lapras VMAX. 30k hype. You guys are too nice to me. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. All right, congratulations, Raphael. That was a awesome, awesome pack. Awesome box. All right, who's next? Leanne. We got three boxes left. Down to our final three. Let's do this. Woot woot my box, my first break. I have love being in this community. Can you sign a common card so I can remember my first break? Shout out to the Discord homies. I can definitely do that. All right. Leanne's first break. Let's pull something awesome. Hopefully it's something amazing. Like a God Pack or something even better than a God Pack. I, I don't know what's better than a god pack. A god box. Hey, we got a Kyogre amazing rare right out of the gates. Well, there goes that god box idea. Thanks a lot, Pokemon. How much were these boxes? 125 was the price point. God pack with all Charizards. Yes. That would be awesome. We would take that. Zacian V. How do we buy into this break? So the next break, uh, you can just go to the website, pkmncoliseum.com. There's a section at the top uh, called Box Breaks. That's where they will all start being labeled from now on. That's where they all will exist. Cramorant V. So scared for you to slice. You should be more worried about me slicing into my finger. I'm pushing all the cards down first. And then some of these packs I'm not even cutting into quite all the way. So we should be okay. I just figured this would be much easier. Oh, much easier than <laughs> trying to force these open. They're difficult. Eldegoss V. Discord invite. Yeah, somebody can throw the Discord invite into the chat here. I don't know if Ryan's in here or not. Or Papa can if he wants. All this time watching your videos and had no idea you did live streams. Uh, I typically don't. I do have... Uh, I've done a few vintage live streams. This is the first box break that I've done of the modern style. Hey, shiny Galarian Surfetched. And a Dragapult VMAX. Nice. Cool to see you live. Love the channel. Thank you so much, Zach. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Why aren't you using safety scissors? Um, because my five-year-old was playing with them. I shouldn't say playing with them, using them. I would not recommend having your kids play with safety scissors. That seems like a bad idea. Using them makes more sense. All right, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Shiny. And a Ditto VMAX. That's awesome. Welcome back, Post Sisters. Have you opened a Charizard yet? Yeah, we opened the Shiny Charizard V and the Secret Rare Charizard V Max. Oh, nice from the Nessa box, a Charizard V Max. Very cool. Freudian slip. Don't say that. We can't do that. Dragapult V. We pulled two uh, gold. Eternatus V, right? So, Eternatus V? We could pull two Charizards in this case. Good luck to you. Thanks, Grimp. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you for the support. It really means a lot. Oh, look at that! Nice! Whoa! Full Art Marnie! 
The most wanted full art in the set. Woo! Congratulations, Leanne. Wow. Nice pull. Wow, I just pulled my second shiny V Charizard. Awesome, way to go, Brian. That's so cool. Marnie is probably, I mean, that's a lot of people's chase card right there. I'm going to hard case it. There you go, Leanne. Nice pull. Very cool. Woo, go. Awesome, awesome pull. Yeah, I, I mean, we haven't, oops, sorry. We haven't uh, opened a Marnie yet. Hey. Is that a Morgrim? Morgrim? That Marnie card is so cute. It is very, very cute. It's very cool looking. I love the art on it. I actually like that way more than I like the, the normal full art. Ooh, and the shiny Toxtricity V Max. Awesome job, Leon. Congratulations. Very cool. Look at this. Ah! Full art Marnie. Oh, will the English shiny face have good pa god packs? I doubt it. I mean, we can hope, but I don't think that they will. We're opening up George or Jorge, one of the two. Shiny V did it, V Max. I honestly just love the Flower Trainer cards. Yeah, they're so great. English cards more than likely will have not have God Packs. Yeah, unfortunately they probably won't. But I mean we don't know for sure until we get until they come here. So it's it's nice to hope for something, especially with how many secret rares there are in this set. I mean it would be very, very cool if they did something like that because this set is going to be very difficult to get a hold of. Ah, look at that. Nice. Shiny Suicune. It's going to be very difficult to get a hold of at a reasonable price. So anything that they can do to kind of help us, you know, collect the cards in a more cheap fashion would be nice. I don't think that they'll have a... I mean, they'll have... Hidden Fates had something in every pack almost. I mean, a lot of packs had something at least. So you'll get a hollow rare at least in everything, but... Santa Scorch VMAX, that Suicune card is awesome looking. Uh, it won't have a V in every pack. It'll have a hollow in every pack for Shining Fates. I mean, if, they had, if it had a V in every pack, can you imagine how high the prices would get then? It would be pretty insane. Dragapult V. I have not gotten my shipment of Ultra Premiums yet. Um, I'm hoping to get them next week. I haven't gotten... I'm hoping I can go upstairs and check my email after this is done and there'll be some information on that and Hidden Fates. At least shipping or close to being shipped. Something like that. Ditto V. Danny, I remember you talking in a vivid world about a dozen cases in pre-release. Stream something like that. Uh, would be really cool to watch. About opening a dozen cases. Oh, um, yeah, we usually do 10 to 15 cases of a new set to open. So we'll do something like that with battle styles. I don't know if we'll do if we'll stream all ten to fifteen cases because usually Papa and I kind of try to enjoy the opening. Shiny, oh my goodness, Crony, Crobat V Max too. Shiny Crobat V Max and a Cincino. Um, but we'll definitely stream some of it, some of battle styles. That Valley Girl, thank you so much for the super chat. Love your channel. Keep up the good work. Thanks for your informative videos. I forgot card shops existed and was able to get in contact with my local and pre-order some Shining Fates. That's awesome. Very cool. And they definitely need the support now with everything going on. So very cool. Glad you were able to find them and reach out. That's excellent. Don't forget to sign a card for that last person. I will not. Oops. We've got an amazing rare Reshiram. Nice. What do you think is a reasonable price for Hidden Fates ETBs? Uh, I would say anywhere, I think $100 is a very good price. Uh, anywhere, I would not go above 120 if I was a collector buying Hidden Fates ETBs. I would not go above 120 I just think that's too much. 
But I can understand the rationale behind really wanting them. Galarian Cursula and an Amazing Rare Evital. Wow. This is the box that just keeps on giving. This is awesome. Eight Hidden Fates ETBs. How much do you think this can be worth in like 10 years? Um, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> it depends on the market. It depends on, on... There's so many different factors that can go into it. A lot more than what you paid for them, probably. If you can keep them for a long-term investment. But, I mean, there's so many different things that can factor into it. Your best bet would be to look at ETBs that printed 10 years ago and get a feel for how those are. And then that price increase, take whatever you paid and multiply, you know, that, that price increase right there. And then that should give you at least a base of what you can expect. So if you look at like Plasma Storm ETBs, Plasma Blast ETBs, those were what the first ones that came out. What are your thoughts on Primal Clash as a set to invest in? Again, any set is not... If you're talking sealed product, any set is going to be a good set to invest in because they just keep... Sealed product does not go down. Right? And they're not going to be reprinting stuff from... I mean, I know there's there's speculation about evolutions, but they're not going to be reprinting stuff from XY, uh, most likely. It would be very difficult for me to believe that they'll reprint stuff from XY. So all that sealed stuff is just going to continue to increase over time. Eternatus VMAX. A little slow on the end there, end there but... Very cool. Awesome box. All right, we've got one more. One more box. And then we are all done. All right, this box is for Roman. And this is our last box. When will Hidden Fates ETBs be for sale on your website? Uh, hopefully when we relaunch the website next week, we'll have them up there in some sort of fashion. Papa and I have talked about different ways that we're going to be selling them. Uh, so that way it's not easily purchasable by, you know, at least they're limited then. All right, we want more full art trainers. Let's do this, Roman. You are last pack, last box. Bring it home for us, my friend. Isn't the promo card on the Hidden Fates ETB worth like $50 long? Uh, it's like $40. But obviously that's going to go down a little bit in price. They're stained, stained glass birds. As more hit the market, that'll start shrinking down a little bit in price. But yeah, I mean, it's $40 by itself. So it's tough because Hidden Fates packs sell for around $10. And then you've got this the, the promo card that sells for, let's say, even if, it's, even if the packs sell for $8 and the promo card sells for $20, you know, that's $100 right there. That's not including the contents. Last box magic. When do you estimate Neo Genesis in your box break series? Um, probably end of next month. I would say end of January sometime. Because we've got base two after Team Rocket. Uh, and then I don't. I have to talk to everybody and see if we're doing Legendary Collection. Obviously that's going to be an insane box. Uh, or if we're going straight into Neo or what we're going to do. But sometime... Uh, middle to end of January, I would say. One sealed evolutions that you're holding on to. Nice. It's not a bad idea. Eternatus V Max. Is that the Poka Sisters? Is that the Poka Sisters? Oh, I really wanted to open one more god pack. Hey, we've got a Groki and a Cramorant V. Lewis, yeah, you're coming at the tail end of this. So we've already opened both Charizards. We opened a god pack. We opened three gold cards. We've opened the full art Marnie. I mean, we've pulled pretty much everything so far. Turn to this feedbacks. We wanted one more god pack, but this is the last box. Yo, Danny, would you take my sealed Deoxys in for some Hidden Fates ETPs? Uh, your sealed Deoxys booster box? I mean, I would talk about it. How much the Ultra Premium Collection box is going to be going for? $100? I believe that is the price, yeah. 
think they're 99.99. Hey! Shiny Glary, Mr. M. Oh! I don't know why I just said hey, oh. Like I'm in a 90s rap song. Yeah, I found it. How much are the ultra? Yeah, $100. For sure, for sure. Your insight is unmatched. Oh, thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate that. Have you a local store? I do not. No. We are strictly online for now. Ooh. Double V. Oh, that's okay. How you doing, Mike? Those nineties breaks are getting getting to yeah, exactly. All these vintage breaks. All that research is just making me lose it. Hey, oh. That's definitely the problem. Hello from Germany. Oh, wie geht's? Es geht gut. Hey, we've got a shiny Rillaboom V. Shiny Alchemy. Thank you, my mind was blanking. <laughs> oh, hey, so sorry it's been asked, but do you know how much y'all are going to sell the Hidden Fates ETBs for? Uh, we do not yet. Uh, Papa and I still need to discuss it. It's going to be, I mean, we're going to go based off of what we see out there and then definitely be lower than what's on the market. But we're more, ooh, this is the last pack magic right here. Uh, we're definitely going to figure out ways to get them into the hands of the people who want them. Ah, look at this shot. The Zacian V gold card for the win. That is your last pack magic right there. Woohoo. Congratulations, Roman. Awesome pull, my friend. Awesome. Okay. So, Leanne wants a sign card. Just so I don't forget. We have done it. We have made it through our first stream of Modern Breaks. So let me know, you guys, let me know what you thought. Let me know how things went, things that you liked, things that can be improved, things that we can get better doing. But thank you so much, ultimately, for coming and joining us in our first Modern Stream. I had a lot of fun. My back hurts. That's the thing I'm taking away most of. So I will need to get a new back for the next stream so that way it doesn't hurt as bad. But, um... I really appreciate you all coming out, so thank you so, so much. Uh, would you get a Rainbow Rare Marnie graded? Sorry, this is a question I'm new to collecting. Um, again, I would look at, really, just look at population reports. So just go to Google, type in uh, PSA population report for um, Marnie and then the, the set number so you can see how many are out there. Just to get an idea of how many are in existence. That's a really good way of looking to see if you should get a card graded or not. Can you show the cards you had? Uh, there's a lot of them, so I probably will go through a ball. Um, but there's a lot of them. You can. This will be posted, so you can definitely go back and check it out. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you for all the support. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Can't wait for 2021 and all the fun things that we have going for us. It's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to talk about the giveaway winners in a couple days. Uh, and until then, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I will see you next time. All right, everybody. Peace.